What is up everybody? Pauly P here from PK's Bike Shop and we are here for part two of our three part series on tennis evolution. So the first part went over some reasons as to why riding a bike could help your tennis game. So let's say you bought into that and you're ready to take the first step. That's what this video is going to deliver. We're gonna go over certain types of bikes, what bike might be best for you, what gear might help you be a little bit safer, have a little bit more fun, maybe be a little bit more efficient, and go over basically what you need to get going in starting a bike program, both indoors and outdoors. So, we have a bunch to go over, so let's get going right now. Let's roll the intro. Okay, let's start off with the road bike, my personal favorite. The road bike will have different hand positions on the hoods, the drops, and even on the top bar. The road bike also is the fastest out of the three that I chose to review. It is the most versatile in that you can go the farthest and the fastest out of any three of them. It also handles the best corners, sprints, and when you're out of the saddle. Next up is the hybrid. Hybrid is between the mountain bike and the road bike. It has a more relaxed positioning, so you're gonna be more upright and not be able to get into that power position, but still very effective for training. Very kind on the lower back, probably more comfortable. As you can see here, I am very upright and still getting a great workout out of the saddle. And finally is the mountain bike. The mountain bike will have a front shock. Some will have a shock on the rear triangle. The beefy frame will allow it to be ride over trails, logs, rocks, and even through large patches of grass with ease. Now let's get into the gear. Safety, comfort, and performance. A helmet is vital if you're riding outside. You need to protect your head, and many helmets these days are very light. They protect the back of your head wonderfully with a nice little tightening gauge. Next up is eye protection. Eye protection is simple. Keep the dust, the dirt, the bugs out of your eyes. And let's cover up the hands as well. When you fall off the bike, you might fall on your hands first, high probability. Let's protect them with some nice gloves that will allow you to grip the bike as well. Finally, it's also nice to have a cycling computer. Cycling computer will tell you how far you've ridden, your heart rate, average heart rate, and some even have GPS like this one. Very cool information for you to study your workout training loads. Next up is choose your seat carefully. Some road bikes come with a very thin seat that might be a little bit too hard on your bum to start off. So choose a nice wide seat with a lot of comfort. This is the memory foam seat by Jameis. Has a couple shocks in the back and as you can see it's much wider and has more cushion. Safety lights. You can put safety lights on any bike. They're going to alert the cars and let, have you watch out for them. Also cycling shorts will have much more padding than your regular shorts. They're meant to be worn while you're biking. Clip-on shoes are another great component. These will allow you to snap in and allow you to pull up on the back part of your, of your pedaling stroke. Also, the clips will allow you to get a little bit more snug in that shoe, not wasting any energy while you're pedaling. Okay, I am over here at Anytime Fitness. I'm gonna go check out their upright bikes and recumbent bikes and show you what I think are some good variables to look at while you're riding at an indoor stationary bike. Okay, let's go. Here is the upright bike. As you can see, very upright. Only can go up and down with the seat and that's basically the only positioning that this is gonna give you. 
It allows you to change the resistance here in the middle, increasing it from three to eight as you see. Upper left hand corner will have your speed, RPMs and distance, along with a little makeshift calorie counter. If you hold on to the handles on this particular bike, it should show you your heart rate. Here is the recumbent bike. This is good if you have a lower back issue, or maybe you wanna read the paper while you're in your zone two ride. Who knows? But this is yet another option for you. A lot of gyms and hotels will have this style bike. And again, you can change the resistance, you can look at your miles per hour, your RPMs, your calories, and your heart rate. A lot of these bikes nowadays will come with a power meter in it, which you will see next with our indoor smart trainer, which is the best choice that I'm going to deliver to you. The Indoor Smart Trainer has a power meter in it. You can put your own bike on it. It's quiet, it's smooth, it packs away easily, and I have one in my house and at the bike shop. You can use a lot of three-party apps that allow you to ride in different parts of the world with different people, and it's very safe and effective. Okay, so that is it for part two. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. We touched upon a lot of different things as far as starting off your bike program and what you need to know and some useful tools to help you be a little bit more efficient and a little bit more safe. Um, so go ahead and fire away with the comments and questions, folks. Also, there's a free gift that you can get. Just click on that link in the description or somewhere on this screen if you missed out in our part one video. That link is below as well. And uh, don't forget to nail that subscribe button and, and hit the notification so you don't miss out on any of the latest and greatest stuff from Tennis Evolution. Okay, this is Pauly P from PK's Bike Shop and Tennis Evolution. We will see you in the next video. See ya.